the deluxe family rooms open up into this corridor. Like the other one did. And the very the, the most important thing to note is you turn. Are we turning left? <laughs> You're turning left, and there's this room for the kids, with these two beds. Should be a TV over here. I can't see behind the door. Oh yeah, here's the TV and their own closet. And what I didn't mention about the day beds in the deluxe room, it's, it goes the same for these beds. Is for really young kids, we can put up rails. Oh, so that they cool. can't roll over and fall out for safety. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. well, that's a feature. The deluxe family rooms like this, well actually all deluxe rooms, family or non-family, are all on the ground floor. So there's the kids' closet. Then we go over. The first thing we see is the first bath. It's a half bath. The toilet, sink, should be oh, fuzzy robe and slippers and a closet a here. closet here. There's another closet in the kids' room for the kids' stuff. So this is yet another closet. Then, continuing on, we turn left again and we're going to come over to like a full bath. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. so the and can the sinks, the, the bath and shower. I see the upgraded amenities, yes. kind of the soap and the yes. towels, shower. This one, actually, the mini fridge has a little door that opens up on it. Oh, okay. I think that has to do with like buildings and renovation status. You know, like the other one, it was open. This one, it's got a little door. And it has a little bit of stuff stocked in there. Well, but it, they it, would have more. It would, it would be properly stocked when yes. this room is on arrival and people are coming into it. So because this is a deluxe room. Yes. The, like the uh, deluxe fridges are always going to be stocked. Gotcha. And then it comes back into the, you know, the sweet part where we have the master bed, which could be split into two double bed, double, you know, two beds. And one sofa and a desk on the family one, whereas the normal deluxe room had two sofa slash day beds. Gotcha. And also all of them are on the ground floor. Yes. And they open up into this little patio with your lounge chair. This one right over here in A, it's right, it gives right, it gives onto the beach right there. That's really cool. Beautiful sunset Yeah, today. this would be a really good room for a sunset view. Yes. Desk. So there's a TV out here and a TV in the kids' room. Yeah, so there are two TVs. And then you have all of this information, like here with the golf tacular, what we're doing right now in our promotions. There's this neat book about all the other club meds that we have. This little catalog. That's very cool. Yeah, with pictures of Miches and all the new places. So, again, you said this sleeps five? One, two, three, four, five, yes. Okay. Three in here and then two in the kids' room. Yes. Do you have a favorite room or a favorite part about these deluxe rooms? My favorite rooms are actually the Bayview, the, the club room with the Bayview up on the second and third floors. Okay. Although the deluxe rooms are very nice and it's nice being able to just walk out. But being higher up tends to be a more of like a European preference. They really prefer the higher up, not the higher, well the Europeans don't like being on the ground floor. And so that is actually interesting because it's a really good feature of this room, being yes. on the ground floor, being able to walk out. But our European guests would want the, want this room higher up, which we don't offer. Which is interesting. Okay. It's a great room, but um, so they tend to they tend to book the Superior Bayview rooms, and American families with a lot of kids tend to book this room. Gotcha, and and that's really neat. And. And this is one of the Club Med resorts that offers the feature that within 30 days of your arrival, you can pay $80 and choose your room. Yes. So if you wanted this particular room you with the sunset it. view, you can pick this. Yeah, so the Very cool. 
Yeah, when we do pick your room, the room is like we go into prior reservations before any rooms have been assigned. That's why it's two weeks in advance. Because usually room planning happens about half a week before people get here. Okay. And we lock that room to you. Nobody can be planned to that room, and we make sure that, you know, it, all other reservations accord with pick your room. Well, that makes sense. So it's a, that's why it's a contract guarantee that you get the room you picked. I like that. As a type A person, I like being able to know which yeah. room I'm in. So, all right. I kind of like how the kids' room has these little blinds that open up. I'm not, I'm not going to open up, but it will maybe to the garden. Although then people can, like, walk off. Right, because it's on the ground floor, people will be able to yeah. see. Okay. But it is, a, it is a really nice view of the garden, the outside garden. The outside gardens are kept beautiful. They are. Here, you know, we'll walk yeah. out. And... Well, kind of funny. We're, we're at the bamboo garden with had all the sand, but... <laughs> oh, that's okay. Look the at other, the bamboo. The, I think the other one that we just visited was nice. Hi there. Hi, how's it going? It's really pretty. Yeah. Maybe I should mention, this is a comment for all rooms, where right here is the master switch. I mentioned our green globe commitment. Uh -huh. This switch cuts all power to the room. It'll cut all the lights, the air condition, everything, yeah. for to save power. Mm -hmm. Well, though, I think if it gets too hot, then the air condition will kick back on so that there's no like moisture issues. Oh, right. Yeah, because but, here, Yeah. the humidity. Humidity issues. 